The heart is the muscular organ that pumps blood containing the oxygen and nutrients the body needs. The main pumping chamber of the heart is the left ventricle. When the left ventricle contracts, it sends oxygen-rich blood to the body through a large artery called the aorta. Connected to the aorta are small arteries called coronary arteries. Blood flows from the aorta through the coronary arteries to supply the heart muscle with oxygen and nutrients. Heart attack is the condition affecting the cardiovascular system in which the heart does not receive enough blood rich in oxygen and nutrients, almost always due to a blockage of the coronary artery and or due to atherosclerosis leading to damage of the heart affected parts. In acute coronary syndrome, blood flow through the coronary arteries is severely reduced or completely blocked. One possible cause of reduced blood flow is atherosclerosis. In this condition, a buildup of a fatty substance called plaque can narrow the coronary arteries. If this plaque ruptures, a blood clot can form and block the coronary artery. A blood clot is the most common cause of the coronary artery blockage. Other less common causes of reduced blood flow include coronary artery spasm or dissection. In a coronary artery spasm, triggers such as drugs, smoking, cold weather, and extreme stress or emotions can cause a temporary and sudden tightening of the coronary artery. During a coronary artery dissection, the inside wall of one of the coronary arteries separates which can block blood flow. Regardless of the cause, a blockage in either coronary artery prevents oxygen and nutrients in the blood from reaching the part of the heart supplied by the artery. As a result, heart muscle in that area starts to die. Death of part of the heart muscle is called a heart attack. It's also known as myocardial infarction or MI. A blocked coronary artery may also cause sudden pain, discomfort, tightening, or a burning sensation in the chest called angina. This pain may extend to the upper abdomen, shoulders, arms, neck, and lower jaw. The treatments include oxygen therapy, which is indicated to get more oxygen into the blood. Aspirin or other prescribed blood thinner drugs are given to prevent blood clots. Thrombolytics, also known as clot buster drugs, may also be used to break up any existing blood clots. Drugs such as nitroglycerin and morphine will relax the coronary arteries and relieve the pain of angina. Other drugs that may also be given are beta blockers that slow down the heart and reduce its needs for oxygen. Immediate surgical procedures is also indicated such as coronary angioplasty in which a balloon tipped catheter inflates inside the blocked coronary artery to open it. After inflating, the balloon catheter may leave behind a mesh-like device called a stent to hold the artery open. The other surgical procedure is coronary artery bypass grafts. In this procedure, the blocked areas of the coronary arteries are bypassed with veins or artificial graft material.